we're going to be looking at the portableapps.com uh, portable applications. So this is the website which has the URL portableapps.com. It has a large collection of free software, mostly open source, that have been kind of adjusted so they can run uh, under uh, uh, a USB drive. So they come in these different categories and as you can see from the list, there, there's a lot of software. And so we have uh, graphics and internet, office, uh, some utilities, music, uh, security software. But what we're going to do right now is download the PortableApps.com platform. This is kind of a launcher and software manager and it's located at SourceForge, which is a place where a lot of uh, open source projects are, uh, uh, are hosted. And I'm going to download this into my download folder, except that I already have it, so I'll cancel this out. So we'll open Explorer again, and double click on portableapps.com setup and then we're going to run the uh, installer. Uh, first I will agree to the license agreement and then I need to uh, find a place where I want to uh, install the thing. It may be tempting to install it in a USB drive but that will go very very slowly. So I'm installing this into my downloads folder. So now the launcher is being um, installed on my computer, or actually it's just being uh, uh, uncompressed. It's not really being uh, installed in the way that other uh, regular programs are installed. There. So I'll click finish and it will launch the program for me. It shows a little menu and now the uh, portable apps platform is searching to see if I have other portable applications installed on this computer, which I don't. So now it's offering me uh, this list of all the applications that they have available. These are all the ones that are complete, and so I can uh, check them off the list here to say that I want to install them. I have a text-to-speech, I have a magnifying glass, I like that one. Uh, Let's see, Genie, that's a text editor and uh, development environment. Uh, Composer is a, an HTML editor. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, so now it will start downloading the installers for the uh, apps that I uh, listed. This will take a while, so I will probably cut out portions of the video so you don't have to wait through the whole thing. So portables are kind of nice because they are first free and then second they've been worked up so you can run them out of a USB drive on any Windows computer. Third, they don't leave little bits of stuff behind. They don't leave behind registry entries or temp files or any of those other things. They're, they're very clean when you exit out of them. They don't leave stuff behind. Uh, they will work even if you do not have administrator privileges on your computer. These are things that are uh, insisted upon by the portableapps.com. Oh, yes. You do have to agree to certain license agreements for some of the applications. When you run them out of a USB drive, they can be a little bit slow because the data transfer between your computer and USB can be slow. All right. So now we're done with downloading and installing and why there they are. Look at that. If I click on here, you can see that you can you can find the applications that you've installed under categories. So it's easy to find the ones that you want.
And if I wanted to, I would take the uh, portable apps folder plus the launcher and uh, put those into a USB drive at this point. And I can run all of these things, including the launcher, from that location. So start and the portable apps folder uh, all together. In this case, it comes up to a little bit over a gigabyte of uh, data. Uh, the auto run, if you're allowing auto run to run on your computer, you should just disable it. Stop doing that because it's a security risk, so I don't recommend it. So if you have a spare flash drive, then you can carry all these things, all these uh, uh, applications with you and use them anywhere, like on one of the computers on campus.